Phil, first things first, welcome back to the club and congratulations on getting the first England Cups. It must be good to finally reach that goal of yours. Yeah, no, massive relief to get in the squad and then I had a great eight weeks being involved in uh, the Six Nations and it's nice to be back now in the sunshine at uh, Franklin's Gardens. Five points last weekend, um, second half stalled a little bit, was it maybe just a delayed bedding in process for the England guys? Um, yeah, we were a bit sloppy second half, gave a lot of ball away, couldn't really get into any sort of structure. Um, and that's obviously something we're working on, but you know, start of the day, if they said you can have a bonus point win, I think we would have taken it. Looking at Bath this weekend, it's a ground sense of struggled out of the weekend. Is that something that you completely put to the back of your mind, or is it something you use as a bit no, of bait? It's something you have to learn from, I think. We've been hammered the last two occasions we went down there because we started poorly, gave them a start, and, and we're talented guys that they've got. You know, and they want to play rugby in front of the rack. Um, you know, you, you're chasing shadows, so we need to start well. We need to make sure we defend properly because of the threats they have in Clarsons and Barkley and Abandonen and Banahan. Um, they've got some tough guys to defend against, so we need to make sure we're really switched on and we don't give them anything free early. These last four games of the season, um, two away, two at home. Has there been any target set? Um, no, just win them is uh, pretty much the target. We know that you know the top four is tight. Exeter uh, snapping at the heels. We need to make sure that we get as many points as possible, and that starts with Bath. There's no targets other than you know we're targeting Bath, and hopefully going to try and get a win down there. And this game just finally leads into a week off as well. Is that something that you you can give yourself a real sort of fillet heading into that week off? Yeah, I think so. You can really just go flat out, knowing that you've got uh, five days just to relax and, and get over any injuries and knocks, and make sure that we're all set and prepared for the next sort of challenge. So it's nice to have that week off, but we can't obviously be thinking about it too much before uh, before the game. On the bus back from Bath, we can uh, we can have a think about the week off then.